Hey guys, Caviarin here. Uh, welcome back to the second episode of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, where this time we're going to go swing by the Maria Narcissa as we try and take out Hugo Lacerda. So let's dive right in. Hugo Lacerda managed to get away from the lighthouse aboard the Maria Narcissa. Before you could get to him, board the ship. Locate him and make sure that he is never able to communicate what he may have learned from Morgan Holt. Now, you might remember from the last episode, Bruce Morgan Holt was the guy who was tortured to death that we laid down in the bathtub. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgan Holt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgan Holt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with, and then make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth Freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you when the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Okay. Well, uh, again, welcome back. If you don't want to hear this next bit uh, where I'm just talking about how I got the game working, uh, feel free, look down here, uh, skip ahead. This is just going to take a quick minute. Um, what I found out is that Splinter Cell Chaos Theory's issue with running has something to do with DirectX and it not liking a game capture through OBS, which is the recording software I use. It also doesn't like dual monitors, especially if the monitors are at a separate resolution. So if you're looking to play this game, um, I would advise disconnecting secondary monitors. And that does mean not only turning them off, but unplugging them from your computer. I know it's pretty sad. Um, if you're looking to stream or record these at all, my suggestion to you, sadly, use the, um, use the uh, Windows 10 xbox live recording software and then maybe use something like obs to capture your video and voice that's that's what i'm doing it and i can see a big improvement in uh quality for the gameplay so this way it's not giving any errors so right right to it so as per my usual i am going stealth here i would 
often recommend always look through these before you go in. You can see the assault right here gives you a frag grenade, but it doesn't give you any sticky shockers. The recommended will always give you the biggest variety of utilities, but I find I really like the stealth stuff. I can still kill people if I want to or need to like this, so okay. Another fun fact, um, when you actually start a mission, it, it minimizes the game and then reopens it, and that will actually stop the recording. So, fun times. I believe I caught this before any dialogue started, so here we go. Fisher, we just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Lambert. Breaking the fourth wall over here. Hey, what's this guy doing? I know for a fact I can get by these guys without interacting with them, so I'm just going to let this guy go a bit further. I believe he's going to walk over towards me at this point. Towards the railing. So now I can just sneak right by him. He doesn't... Oh. Can I get by here? I sure can. Aha! Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. This is where, um, even with my level of familiarity, I like to start using my sticky cameras here. Oftentimes, I'm still going to take the time to go recover them. I just want to be sure I'm not going blindly around a corner or into a well-lit location if I don't know I can get out. At this point, I'm going to speed things up a bit. without getting too out of control. So now I believe we do have some secondary objectives here. By the way, you can notice I mentioned in the last episode that hitting escape will bring up the main menu. If you want to bring up your opsat, which has your goals and notes and such, that's actually your function key. So F1, for example, will bring that up. This is, of course, the best place to look for. Um, this is the best place to look for all of your secondary objectives. Okay. So, of course, your thermal is not going to let you see past these. Okay. Sneaky. Oh, hi. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop down. Remember, you can use your own electronic vision, your EMF, to locate your sticky cams. Now, go ahead and save here. Now, I'm not seeing anybody coming, so I'm going to take this chance and gun for it. As always, I'm going to make sure I have a sticky shocker equipped, because if someone pops around the corner, I'd rather knock them out than um, get even further penalized. So down here is a sleeping guy. You can go ahead... Um, to my knowledge, I have not been spotted, so that shouldn't cause issue. Oh. It was not the sleeping individual who saw me and woke up. Of course, he was knocked out cold. It was this guy that turned around and happened to see me sneaking down. Yay me. So, I'm going to do the responsible thing. Oh boy, it's not going to let me back up there. Uh, let's, uh, you know what, let's have some fun with these guys. That is not what I meant to do. Hey, come on. 
That again is not what I meant to do. Let's hope it's not too late. Oh boy. Now, I know I said I didn't want to do that before, but um, I just completely mucked my controls up so badly, I'm kind of embarrassed. I did say this is the game I'm most familiar with in the Splinter Cell series, and I didn't mean that. But even then, I'm familiar with playing all of those games on the Xbox 360, not on the PC. How do I zoom in on this? Can I... can I not zoom in? I don't know that I can zoom in. Huh. Oh, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh. I see. So, you actually press 1 again, the same button that would typically bring up your EEV. Oh, he appears to be going down that way more, so I'm going to take this chance and slide down here. So remember, this guy is asleep. I'm not even going to knock him out while he's down here. That guy might notice and come down here and trigger an alarm. You should be able to slide this door open without waking him up. And just in case, I am going to equip that sticky shocker. How that doesn't wake him up, I have no idea. Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Now, of course, planting tracking devices is much harder than scanning them, because remember, scanning we can do remotely with our EEV. But planting trackers, you have to be right up on them. In this case, those crates are not exactly hard to get to, like this one right here. Now, I can't remember exactly where all of them are. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. I can't remember exactly where all of them are. I think I can remember where one more is, so I might have to do a bit of exploring here. But we can see here... Bill of Lading, Retrieve, the Ledger, Eliminate Hugo Lacerda. I should be able to find my secondary. Not very useful. Doesn't tell me how many crates there are. That's, you know, always really helpful. But let's go for it. Oh. Where am I? Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. We just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. Mm -hmm. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. Oh. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Okay. So here again, no, you can thermal through most every door in this game. It's so nice. But not all doors can be opened stealthily like these big metal doors. So bear that in mind. But most of the time, you don't have to waste extra time by uh, using your thermal. Now, you may notice a slight problem with this door. And of course, no one's, uh, no one's swimming in there, so don't even think about it. But we can come over here, where a lot of noise is being made. And... In this case, you are going to want to knock this guy out. You don't have to move too slowly because of all of the noise he's generating. Now, by the way, in regards to noise, this game made a huge advancement. If you look in the bottom right of the screen, you can see that little box highlighting on the second bar. Uh, what that is doing is that is actually telling you the ambient noise happening around you. And you can see as I run around, I have boxes filling that up. People will not hear me, 
unless the boxes I fill up making noise reaches that adjusting box. So I hope that makes sense. Oh, I'm stupid. But point is, always keep an eye on the bottom right there because there should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. Because that's going to give you a good idea of how fast you can move around. You don't have to worry about someone drilling away, making a ton of noise, and suddenly hearing you step 30 feet away, like in the previous games. Okay. So. You gonna start that pump there or what? What I like doing here myself is as soon as I have some distance, I like to jump up here. Keep on forgetting it's different. Again, in this game, you're privileged enough to be able to stay up like this and bring out your pistol. Of course, that doesn't help when you're facing the wrong direction. Now, in... Ooh, opportunity. Come on, a little further. A little further. Excellent. I love how he's already hidden just for me. So, these are the only two gents in this reactor room. So, feel free to just, you know, hop down here and uh, take out this guy. Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. Again, most of the time, interrogating isn't going to do anything special for you, but... If nothing else, it gives you a good idea of what's act actively happening around you. So if you ever get to a point where you're... Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda's shipments. All right. All right. But uh, yes, if you ever get to a point where you don't remember what you're doing here, interrogate somebody. Now, these doors are annoying because uh, some of them you can't slide closed. So keep that in mind. Don't get lazy. Hide the bodies. So there are going to be two gents that crawl down this way in the hall, and you don't want to shoot out every light you come across. That door takes you... Fisher, you just passed the only compartment that you haven't been through. You should see if Lacerda's shipping container is in there. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for the tip. Apparently, that's not the door I remember it being. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. Okay. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. That's a. I, I sure hope there's a lot of waterproofing in these containers. Um, if my shipments, if my shipments arrived soaking wet water damaged i'd be so upset how convenient that this bill of lading happens to be facing outwards like this how utterly unrealistic good work sam it looks like whoever delivered these arms to lacerda was operating through a proxy who american teal costa fuerda seguridad de panama offshore bankers yeah the cigar chomping kind great I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Ooh. So, let's close that. Now, again, I remember there being two people who come down this hallway 
as you approach. Yep, there they are. You can actually drop down right here and just quietly walk through. They won't be able to see you here unless I'm horribly misremembering. Can I get through here? Now, again, from what I remember, I don't think you need to worry about them coming back. Okay. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. It could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. Now that is something I did not pay nearly enough attention to when I went through this in my youth. Um, and I immediately started open firing in here. If you fire a single bullet in here, it does cause an explosion. You will die. Game over. Don't look at me. Now again, you can move fairly quickly through here. As you can see, the um, stay calm. We don't want to make any sparks. Who, who, who are you? I'm the fire inspector, and I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off in here. What? Why? Can't you smell the gas? But. But I didn't think it was dangerous. Imagine you needed to stow your ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh, the men bunk up port side. Uh, just turn left out the back of the engine room. They've got a crate full of new guns back there. Maybe some other stuff too. Uh, I'm not sure. So hear that. Turn left after we get past this room. And we should be able to find the next weapon shipment to track. So I am going to occasionally be turning down the volume of the game in this recording, because otherwise this is very loud and hard to hear. But keep in mind down in the right, um, a lot of noise is being made, so we can move through this pretty quickly. And don't forget, just above that tells us exactly how well lit we are. You are going to want a quick save through here very often because you don't want to, um... If you are seeing people open fire in here, you will die. Move a little too fast. Hey. Okay. So... What you can do here, don't fire at the lights, but you can temporarily disable them. It does draw their attention, so bear that in mind. But it also gets you around the problem areas. Oh boy, I'm at a bad spot. I'm at a bad way, guys. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh. Got to be careful not to go too quickly here. Sneaky, sneaky. Again, this game gives you so many options to get around. It's crazy. Now bear in mind, you can't just quickly, in quick succession, disable a bunch of lights back to back. The game's not going to let you do that.
Ooh. I'm moving awfully too fast. Can I make it? I think I can. Oh. You. How stressful. Hmm. I remember them saying turn left, exiting the engine room. But left where? <laughs> Up the stairs left or down there? Because that's a dead end. So I don't like this. I remember there being someone, but I should be able to see them with my thermal. Wow. Ask and you shall receive. I, my thermal's kind of twigging out for me here. I hope that's not showing up in the recording. Ah, yes. How satisfying. Uh, let's see here. We're just gonna hide this, uh, this young man here in the loo. Okay. Now, this area is a dead end. I think I remember there being one of those weapon crates in here, I think. Let me make sure I'm not going crazy and that no one's hiding over here. Okay. Perfect weapons, great. Now, I want to see if these actually show up in the EMF. Whoa, lit up. So, good thing to know if you are quickly scanning an area looking for one of these, use your EMF. Now, I know for a fact there's at least one more of those crates. Obviously, I would have gotten a uh, update. But, I the one I'm thinking of is pretty much at the very end of the level. I just noticed I have notes to look at. What are my notes telling me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing spectacular. Time to do a heckin' sneak up the stairs. So, I'll tell you right now, this map is big. Matter of fact, I think, um, no, can we look at the map? So the map already is much better than it was in previous games because you can really see the 3D layouts of each place you're in, but you can see this ship is large and you can go just about anywhere on the ship. Um, the Chaos Theory maps, again, very big. Side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. So, that is the cool thing. They they didn't add any objective trackers, so we still don't have any of those. But they give you so many different ways to complete each mission now that you don't need them. Because even on this one, I could go in and with the exception of that one room with the gas leak, the engine room that is, you could go gung-ho on this entire map, go full SWAT commando, killing everybody, and be totally fine. You won't get a high score, but you'll be fine. Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, uh -huh. complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. <laughs> Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Now, you have a unique opportunity here. You can either use your uh, EM, your EEV, excuse me, and you can remotely hack into this computer where you can see that icon there, the uh, the one that looks like Wi-Fi. You can use that 
to remotely hack into there with the action button. But you can also just sneak up behind this guy and access the file cabinet. The transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Oh boy. So I can't turn around from here, so I'm just hoping to hear and listen to when this guy leaves. Let's go ahead and pop a save. Okay, back to uh, what I was looking at. Oh, hey, it's what I already knew. I'm glad I wasted my time there. Now, I'll tell you right now, the one thing I really learned from this game in particular growing up was patience. You have to have so much patience to get through this game without setting off crazy amounts of alarms. Oh, what's in here? Okay. Uh, oh boy. I don't like that. Let's, uh... Can I... Remote in? Engine room? Okay. So... Let's, uh... Let's pop an optic cable. Oh, this is the med room. Anything I need to know about in here? No. Alright, I'm not seeing any signs of a weapons crate in here, so I'm going to leave this guy be. So... Ooh. Oh, fortunate for me. That's another thing, unlike the previous games, uh, if you are hiding behind a door like that, they're not going to see you there, so that's good. <gasps> okay, Sam, judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. Oh boy, there's another three of them? I didn't remember there being that many, but let's try and find them. Okay, so this is where this can start to get confusing because there's a lot of different ways you can go and a lot of them connect. Again, the biggest thing I want to stay in habit of doing is checking that thermal. And of course, listening very closely for anyone that might be coming. Like that. Always remember to opt a cable. Hey, Thomas! Have you seen Lacerda? No, but I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. So I'm not going right through this door because... I, I would absolutely have been seen. So, let's try now. Oh, I don't like that. I, hmm, I thought 
Oh boy, I really don't appreciate that. Oh yeah, they, they actually know how to open doors in this game, so watch out. If you flip a light switch off in a room, they will investigate. If you shoot out a light or leave a door open, they will investigate. In this case, you can see this guy left the door open. That is not going to close on its own. Oh, he didn't leave it open. All right, let's uh, let's give this another go. I don't believe they're ever going to come out here, but if I shoot out that light, they are going to be on their toes and hound this area. So, okay, there he is. There he is. Right in the Tushi. Okay. That, I think, might make this a little easier. I'm I'm going to go ahead and Sticky Shocker the other guy, too. I don't believe anyone else comes through this door, but I will move this body once I have a better location to do so. Also note, I can actually open this door. I can't tell you how nice it is to have the option to open doors, even sliding doors, while carrying a body. It's so much faster. Okay. No, no. That will unequip. I, I love those alarming accusations they give like that. When in reality, um, I, he, he didn't see me. Okay, he did not see me. <laughs> what a good sound. Thank God, there's nothing. Note that I can still use the camera as... I thought I could still use the camera as a camera. Apparently, the gas completely ruins the camera, and yep, I can't recover it. So, before I move that body, I want to find a location to move the body to. Oh, a weapons crate. Look at that. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go through there. Is this the freezer? This appears to be a freezer. No, this is the fridge. That's the freezer. Okay. I think I found the perfect storage place for those bodies. Uh, FYI, they will not die being in the fridge like that. Um, even if this weren't a game in real life, they wouldn't die being in that fridge. They they could certainly catch a cold, but they're not going to die from that. Speaking as someone who used to work in a fridge and freezer, so yeah, that's a thing. But I know no one is ever going to come back into this fridge while I'm here. Now, I've mentioned a few times before, I get really emotionally connected to these games. I, I love immersion in my video games, and I really like to get in character. Which is why I get scared to death in these games when something surprises me. Or if I fall, I actually feel like I'm falling. And because of that, I, uh, I will ramble on at random comparing these things as though they were real life because I get way into it. Mm. 
Ok. Nighty night. Ok. I like how there's a switch out here, but no switch in the kitchen. <laughs> Not sure what that sound was, but... Ok. Um... Ok, this is a door that cannot be closed. for the dogs to smell what's hidden inside the coffee. Ah, that makes sense. Still, wouldn't mind a good cup of coffee. Tell me about it. Okay. So, I don't need to touch those two. That's good to know. And guess what? I'm not gonna. Because I'm guessing that Hugo is down here. I use guessing very loosely because I've played this so much, I'm pretty sure he's down here. Pretty sure. But we gonna find out. There we go. Okay, I retract that prior statement, sir. If I get to the right hallway, I remember exactly where he is and everything. I remember him being very easy to touch once you get to him because he's a bit of a dummy might actually be right here I think he's down here now he is not alone by the way but he will isolate himself which is very nice of him okay So, I believe there's this gent down here. You don't need to interact with him. He ain't hurting nobody. Just remember, if you're not going quickly, then you can skip bow, you can skip by most people without any problem. So, from what I remember, I often dragged Hugo down here, and I like to hide him in this room when I'm done. Remember, Hugo's the person on this mission you have to kill. If you even try to use a non-lethal to take him out, it's still going to be lethal. He is your target. It does not negatively impact your score. Oh. I need to be very careful here. The guy on the left over here is the captain. Uh, I want to interrogate him. Very carefully now. Maybe it was always the captain I was thinking of. Okay. This cap this uh this ship does not need a captain. It's fine. I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What that oh. I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks the cert has been writing. Where is he? That son of a he was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. 
Now, I will never kill this man. He is far too helpful and willing and genuinely does not like this passenger. He may be into some shady stuff, but, um... So Lucera is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. But, even though he's likely into some shady stuff, he doesn't seem like he's all the best. All that bad. He might be. But all the same. You know, matter of fact, those two guys back there did mention that he used the bag coffee to smuggle in uh, other stuff. What's through here? Okay. Oh. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. <coughs> you think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words, I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. Oh, well, it's not. It's Hugo I need Lacerda. A drink. Let me see. He will stay there in that position until you get him, by the way. Don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Goodbye. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Our primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. Now, oh, weapon's great. Did I already get that one? We're going to find out. I, I do want to make sure I sweep through and find all of the weapons crates. There. Now the captain can share his quarters with Hugo again. Nighty night. Okay. Now, remember, I don't need to go into every room looking for those weapons crates because, as Lambert would put it, they're lit up like a Dutch brothel. But only in my EMF. So let's make sure I got this one. Very good. Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. Uh, hey, all right. I know exactly where it is too. Sweet. Yeah, the the last one is actually really close to our extraction point. So the extraction itself can be a little hard. Um, Especially if you've already used up your sticky shockers and such. So at this point, I might get a little more intimate with my uh, takedowns. So I believe, yeah, he, he doesn't move around. So I can, uh, I can either leave him be or take him out. I'm not going to risk it. I am going to take him out and hide him off over here in this corner. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. And remember our general rule of thumb. If you are not seen, they're not going to be seen. Generally speaking, they won't be seen unless someone is standing on top of them. Or is just very close, like we're talking a two or three meter radius of them. Okay, as always, using our thermal to check. Oop. Gotta make sure you can easily get caught on doors, so just be sure to watch out. There is someone up there, so I want to be a little careful here. I also know there's someone up on that railing over there. What does 
Now, in case anyone comes over here, I'm going to pop them just down under the staircase. You might be able to tell, though, um, they do a much better job of having idle chatter between the uh, the NPCs in this game. It's I, I I'm so thankful for it. So our last container is somewhere down there on that deck. Uh, we actually have to go just past, I think that's it right there. I can't see it with my vision from here. But yeah, we actually go down just to this level for extraction, so we have to go down one more level to get the container. So in this case, I am just going to use a sticky cam. I love the smell of the ocean air. All Ooh, I didn't see him. I didn't remember him. But no worry. No worry at all. That was the last of the weapons. Yeah. Of now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected La Cerda is. All right, let's check out the details. So I've completed every objective. It's another 100%. Uh, no, it doesn't even show the enemies killed for accounting Hugo Lacerda. He doesn't factor in at all. Uh, anywho, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please join me for the next episode where we infiltrate the Panamanian Bank, I believe. I think that's next. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this, please give us a like, maybe a subscribe, comment down below. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.